uh, I am going to share my screen with you. And what we are doing today is I am briefly revising the Laswell's model with you all. It's the same model that uh, I uploaded actually. I uploaded a recorded video on Moodle which was related to uh, Laswell's model. I uploaded two videos on this, uh, this past Friday. And then I uploaded three more videos uh, this past Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me, there are people in the waiting room. Uh, you were supposed to watch the videos related to Laswell's model. However, here I will again quickly go over uh, this model uh, just to quickly revise it with you all. And if we, of course, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. <clears throat> there are going to be more people in the waiting room. Let me allow them to admit. All right, let's begin. Can you all see my screen? Can you all see my screen? Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please, students, make sure you have your cameras on, otherwise I'll not mark your attendance, except for the students who have shared their general reasons with me. And they have, uh, I mean, they have asked for a relaxation for today. I want to see you while you are in this online session with me. <laughs> okay, let's begin. So today we're going to discuss Laswell model, which is one of the basic models of communication. Um, this is my first screen here. So let's talk about Laswell first, Harold Laswell. Uh, who was Harold Laswell? As you can see, this model was proposed by Harold D. Laswell. He, he was an American and by now maybe you know that most Americans, if they have, they have three parts in their name, they tend to abbreviate the middle part. So for example, John, uh, John F. Kennedy, or George W. Bush, similarly Harold D. Laswell. So uh, he was an American political scientist. With that, he was a communication theorist as well. Who is a theorist? A person who proposes theories. So Harold D. Laswell, he was a political scientist. He was also a communication theorist. He proposed this model in 1948. Here, I will request you to pay attention to this time period. Now, 1948 was the time period when, of course, we did not have this technology, the sort of technology that we have today. 1948 was also the time period like TV was, I mean, they had invented TV by that time, but TV was not a popular medium. Can anyone tell me what was the popular medium in 1948 during this time period when the model was proposed? Newspaper or book? Newspaper? Yes, newspaper. Radio. Radio. Sorry? Radio. Good job. Radio. Yes. Radio was the most popular uh, medium, electronic medium. And I have read in books that before Pakistan was created, before uh, Pakistan came into being, they had this culture whereby people would sit in groups together or maybe they would surround a radio transmitter and they would listen to radio together. Like this used to be a popular sort of community event. <clears throat> also, maybe you know that when Pakistan came into being, you may have read this in books because I also read this in a book. When Pakistan came into being in 1947, first time the creation of Pakistan was uh, announced by radio. Like earlier, they used to have All India Radio, AIR, and then it was when, when the country was divided, the radio which came with Pakistan was renamed as Radio Pakistan. And the first announcement they did on radio was that Radio Pakistan hai, or this time hua hai, or Pakistan jo hai, wo, uh, 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 Pakistan jo hai, wo ek leather mulk ke taur pe, uh, that was the first sort of announcement that they did in, back in 1947. <clears throat> All right. Uh, it is very important to consider the time period during which a particular model usually is proposed because it tells us the context within which a particular model appeared or a particular model was proposed. 
Excuse me. Again, people in the waiting room. All right. Now, this model is one of the basic models of communication. Although it seems too easy, it seems too simple, it does help us understanding the process of communication in a really, really good way. So what was the main argument in Laswell's model? You can see the information on the screen and it tells you that the main argument actually came in the form of a sentence. Like it reads like a sentence. The whole model actually reads like a sentence. It says that who says what, in which channel, to whom, with what effect. That was the uh, like sort of sequence of information. Now, let's translate this model, the model that you see on my screen, let's translate this model in this classroom setting, in this online classroom setting. Who means communicator. And in this situation, right now, when I'm delivering lecture, I am communicating. I am, I am communicating with you all. Says what? My, the explanation, my explanation of Laswell model is my message. So, I am communicator who is explaining this model, this Laswell model to you by in which channel by using the medium of technology, by using the medium of my computer screen, this zoom app, and by turning on my camera, by using internet, look like we are using this technology. I'm using this technology to communicate with you all. To whom it this component of the model means audience. And right now, I am communicating, I am delivering my lecture to explain Laswell model and my audience oh, wow. is my students. Those of you who are here with me. With what effect? The effect of this communication can be <clears throat> the understanding of Laswell's model. If after my lecture, I am able to successfully uh, uh, make you understand this 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 model that would be the effect that if you understand this model and then you can apply it in routine life setting with this i'll ask you to come up some with some more examples where you can translate this model in our routine life setting okay who can who can translate excuse me Let's talk about this example. Who do I have here? Okay, any volunteer? I would like any one of you to translate a conversation between two friends on telephone. So just imagine this situation where two friends are uh, communicating with each other using their cell phone. Now, how would you translate Laswell's model uh, to that situation? Anyone? How will you go ahead, please? Who was asked? Who was speaking? Uh, Ma'am, can you please repeat the situation? Okay, the situation is that two friends are communicating yeah. with each other using their cell phone. Let's say they are talking about the they are discussing the upcoming dates for final exams <clears throat> maida or okay, anyone else can I... go ahead uh -huh. place and uh, says what can be uh, the that how to talk about the upcoming exams or whatever uh, and the channel will be the mobile phone and to whom will be the uh, the friend and uh, with what effect can be uh, that what uh, replied as uh, the friend gave. very good who was speaking may i know the name Misha. Misha, good job, Misha, good job. So Misha was saying that in this situation where two friends are communicating with each other using cell phone, speaker will be the who part, speaker. And then she said that the message that to, uh, that, that speaker is conveying to the listener will be the, this part, message part says what part. In which channel this part will be the medium, the medium of cell phone that these two friends are using. To whom 
listener here in this situation listener is the who who part audience part remember this is communicating part this is message part this is medium part this is audience part and this is the talk part in a way laswell's model has five components i'll repeat this information laswell's model has five components message and pay attention to my cursor as well on the screen because when i take my cursor to these words i am telling you which stage is playing what part to repeat when i take my cursor to the words that you see on the screen i am telling you which stage plays what part can you see my screen clearly yes yes can you also see the cursor when i move the cursor yes ma'am good yes ma'am this first stage is communicator part of the process of communication this stage is the message part of the process of communication this stage is the medium part of the message of, of, of in the process of communication this stage fourth component is audience part in the process of communication and right here this stage is the effects part now <clears throat> with this uh, i wanted to ask you for one more example but we may run out of time uh, you may come up with many other examples uh, just to explain i'll give you another example of uh, another uh, uh, process of communication i usually pay attention to billboards when i drive to campus every morning so billboards you have you may have seen billboards in the whole city and they have information about sometimes cellular service sometimes uh, uh, sometimes they have information about grocery apps right you may have seen billboards they appeal me particularly because of their visuals and because of their captivating messages now in terms of effect in terms of in order to translate this 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 experience into laswell's model so in this in billboards example who is the advertiser this stage is played by the advertiser who has put up the billboard in the intersection that's it this is the message uh, a few days ago you know the temperature was going really high and we all started wearing or oh, feeling that okay um, uh, uh, summer has almost started so i saw this this billboard of jane shiring and it had the slogan life life refreshing and that was the message so again in this example advertiser of jame shiri is communicator the message that i see on the billboard is the message they have used the medium of billboard to to uh, 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 disseminate the message and audience is people who commute on that road people who pass by that road or drive by that road they are audience if that is to persuade audience to buy that product if i am affected to uh, by seeing that advertisement and I, i i i tend to buy the product then effect has happened if, if i mean i was just giving you this example to make it further clearer okay some important considerations laswell's model is specifically for mass communication like wherever you are communicating with masses laswell's model applies to that situation uh and the, the model emphasizes the need to study each stage we will talk more about it in the coming slide right how do we actually talk about each stage uh, uh just hold on to this topic let me hold on to this point and i'll explain it further when i move to the next slide laswell model is a linear model of communication can anyone tell me what is linear uh yes ma'am उटर now linear is something that goes in straight line that is linear um if you 
took the course of chemistry in your high school you may have studied some equations in chemistry they, they, they teach equations all of them are linear they go in just one direction in in, in straight line in uh, anything that goes in straight line is linear all right this this model is linear and uh, again when when i show you the next slide you will realize that model is really linear and then this model raises the issue of effect as compared to the issue of meaning when we go back to this slide you see the model emphasizes effect the model actually doesn't entail the component of meaning messages always have meaning however this method seems to talk very little about the component of meaning it essentially focuses on the element of effect this is my next slide first of all the model seems linear isn't it it's going in straight line this is first step then leads to second step then leads to third stage then fourth stage and then fifth and last stage this is linear and then i was saying that this model actually identifies different stages of research i have already explained the stage is communicator the stage is massive the stage means medium this stage means receiver and this stage means effect we'll talk more about uh, the idea of distinct stages of research in my in my up, uh, coming slide. All right. Some upsides of Laswell's model. Upsides mean some bright aspects, some positive aspects, positive things of Laswell's model. First of all, we have seen that it it has organized the whole process of communication for us. We cannot deny like it puts things in order. The Laswell's model really puts things involved in communication process in order. The model helps in developing a structured discussion on various stages of communication. If we look back at this slide, the model actually presents the whole process of communication in a structured and systematic way. And Laswell himself used the model to refer to distinct types of research. I have already, I mean, I said that I'll talk about this in a minute. Let's talk about this here. I skip the slide. I'll go back to that slide in a minute. Different types of research. Okay. When we are talking about who, actually, we are determining who is the communicator, who is the one who is sending the message, and who is the one who is trying to control the audience. Are they advertisers? Are they dramatists? Are they reporters? Are they editors? Are they publishers? So, this stage, actually, if whoever wants to investigate communicator, they can actually focus on this stage content analysis is another stage that we can consider in this model now let me explain this with the help of an example you all may have seen this famous cartoon movie superman there was the series as well have, 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 you, have you all seen superman or if you, if you haven't seen at least you know who is superman and you have an idea that they they have a famous movie with this name, Superman. Yes, ma'am. Good. So soon after that movie was released in the United States, there is an interesting fact related to the release of the movie. A couple of incidents happened in the U.S. where children jumped out of their apartment windows, their apartment buildings, with this hope that Superman will appear out of nowhere to save them, to rescue them. See, now this is the effect of media. This is the effect that a movie was producing on young minds. Those young minds, they develop this mindset that Superman is a real figure who exists out there and who can appear out of nowhere to help people who are in trouble. And some children were really badly hurt. Now, this kind of... Uh, uh, intrigued many communication scholars to study effects of media and they started analyzing the content that was being offered by media this is how by analyzing a message that comes from media we do we analyze content this is why they are saying that all different stages all different steps in laswell's model they identified distinct stages of research I said whoever is studying communicator is actually studying who is trying to control audience and whoever is analyzing the content he is basically analyzing the messages that media is offering us. All right. Then comes the state media analysis. 
you may have heard from some people that social media nowadays is the most important and influential media nowadays if someone is trying to investigate whether social media is more influential or tv is more influential that would be the analysis of medium in advert and each person is different i mean i am a kind of person who is usually i mean interested in seeing advertisements especially on billboards i like advertisements on billboards because they come with really big images and really big visual sort of communication and i like that happening in front of my eyes uh, so i mean i think billboard also is a really good medium to influence people so if anyone is for example i want to advertise a product that i have recently launched and if i want to see that if i want to introduce this product within the community of lahore which medium can be best can i use city 42 can i use radio fm 100 which is uh, uh, heard by people uh, uh, across the city so i am you i am doing analysis of medium and this medium analysis is third stage in lasvel's model similarly audience analysis here i would like to relate it with another example of a thesis from one of my students who wrote her thesis with me this past semester and her thesis was related to the effects of beauty cream products on females so we know that there are a number of beauty cream products available in the market and most importantly there is this cream fair and lovely you all are familiar with this name fair and lovely and then there are other tons of creams available in market like faiza beauty cream there is golden pearl beauty cream so my student was studying that how audience are affected by the advertisements of these creams but she wanted to analyze her audience as well if there is a maybe 65 year old man maybe he is not at all affected by the advertisements of these beauty creams usually these beauty creams tend to affect the choices of teenager girls college going women university going females and all that so if 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 a person is analyzing audience that what are their choices what is their age group what is their uh, how do they consume it do they spend more time on social media or on tv ads or that kind of thing that is media analysis and then effect analysis i think is quite easy to understand when we are analyzing that what sort of effects are produced by media that is all effect analysis now i'll stop here for a minute to take your questions do you have any questions so far any question was everything clear can i proceed yes ma'am okay yes ma'am great yes ma'am this slide i skipped i would like to go over it very briefly all right so or did i do this slide or did i miss it yeah i i did it never mind i did it all right now uh, there is this uh, beauty of models and theoretical aspects that they are revised multiple times for example if i propose a theory that if misha is studying the same theory on her research she may come up with this conclusion that yes this is a really helpful theory in order to understand this process of communication however this theory has these 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 limitations or let's say maida she is also studying the same theory on her area of investigation and she she may say that yes this theory is really good but it needs some more addition so this is how theories are revised they are modified and they come up with sometimes some additions and some omissions so there was this communication scholar in 1958 exactly 10 years after laswell's model was proposed in 1948 his name was richard bradder i will repeat his name richard bradek r bradek he is usually known as r bradek he extended the model he extended lasvel when i say he extended the model what does it mean it means he made some additions to the model okay so we know that lasvel's model had these five five components 1 2 3 4 
four, five. Laswell's model basically had five components. When Braddock extended this model, he came up with seven components altogether, from five to seven. One, two, three, four, and then three more here. So this is basically the extension of the same model. He has added some more points to, uh, to the model. He says that apart from discussing who says what, through which medium, to whom, we should consider these three, these three elements as well. Under what circumstances? Sometimes we need to consider the context in which information is coming. For what purpose? Usually, communicator may have purpose, intention, or but it is not always necessary. And what is the effect? So here, Braddock has added these two components. Okay, under what circumstances? In order to explain, I'll ask you a question. So. When Pakistan engaged in a war with India in 1965, uh, patriotic songs became very popular. And many of the patriotic songs that we hear nowadays, they were, they were sung and they were created back in 1965 when Pakistan engaged in war with India. So uh, can anyone give, the, give me the example of any song, any patriotic song, especially the song that was created that was... Uh, that became popular in uh, 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 Good job, good job. And usually they broadcast those songs either on Pakistan's Defense Day or Pakistan's um, Pakistan Day, which was yesterday. When I was commuting, uh, commuting to the city yesterday, uh, I, I had my radio on and I was... Uh, they were playing this song, FM 100, it, it was, uh, sorry, it was FM 103, and they were playing this song, Evatan Ke Sajile Jawano. Again, these were the songs, you see, here consider the circumstances when the songs were created. This is what I am saying. Usually, we need to consider the time period when a particular message is created. So this was Braddock's extension <coughs> to Laswell's model. Similarly, Laswell's model has some limitations as well. It is, it, 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 it talks, that it says that communication is a persuasive phenomenon and it, it, it pays attention to effects. And we know that Laswell's model pays attention to effects rather than meaning. We have already talked about this. I'm not going into its detail. Laswell's model is considered to be too simple. Yes, it is a model which is very simple, but with that, we should also consider that it is one of the basic, convenient, easy ways to understand the process of communication. And I, I just told you that we can translate model to many examples of communication. I, I, I myself gave you many examples. And remember when I was asking you to translate the model to the conversation which is happening between two friends and Misha, Misha translated it. Like this is a model that can be easily translated to any example of communication that we see happening. It is linear. We have already talked about this. The model lacks feedback. Amreen was Amreen raised this point when we started our discussion on Laswell's model. So uh, yes, the model essentially does not discuss the component of feedback. However, it is also important for us to consider the background. Like I said, the model came out in 1948. This was the time period when radio was the most popular medium. With that, we should also consider that the idea of feedback became faster and more popular with the invention of internet. Internet has made it easier for us to communicate and to give feedback, to participate, even to give feedback on, on, on someone's post. Uh, I mean, if I am writing a post on Facebook, I'm essentially writing it for masses. Maybe I, uh, if a person is writing a tweet on Twitter, maybe he has 400, 500 more followers. And in that case, again, he's writing for masses and people write comments, reply to that tweet, it means they're giving feedback. What I'm saying is that the idea of feedback became more popular and faster after the invention of internet. So considering the time period when the model came in 1948, yeah, the idea of feedback was not as easy as it has become today. So that is why I have written one should always consider Laswell's background, background model, background while consider the element of feedback. Now with that, I have ended today's lecture. I'm going to stop the screen sharing button. Yeah, I'll let you ask questions if you have any. Uh, Ma'am? Yes. 
Ma'am, can we also say that it ignores the possibility of noise? It does, yes. Essentially, all models sometimes they do not come uh, like encompass all the components. We can definitely say that, yes. Like communication not happens smoothly all the time. And remember when we were discussing the model, I said that the model pays more attention to effects rather than meaning. What if there was this element of noise that disrupted the process of communication and that interfered with the meaning? If something has interfered or intervened with meaning, it means the message has not been conveyed properly. And then there is, I mean, of course, we, the effect of the message is a question. Good job, um, Andrew. All right.